Hello, and welcome back to the Unscripted Podcast. I'm joined today by <laughs> Ray Charles over here. <laughs> oh my God, audio listeners, this is going to be a fun one. We thought today would be fun to do like a cozy cast and do it in bed and um, do our regular type of episode just cozy in pjs sipping on some wine wearing a face mask we were actually wearing a face mask just before this but it was slipping and sliding it was giving dre some crazy allergies it was making it worse because i still have allergies but yeah it was just making it act up yeah like a city girl it wasn't fun no. it was supposed to be fun but it was not it was not would you like to explain why you're wearing glasses yeah just my eyes are sensitive again like kind of like the other episode you weren't wearing glasses though yeah for one of them i did you don't remember i think it was like the third one i don't think you did i did but we do have an interesting and fun show planned today. Um, we have... Wait, wait, wait. Let's do a cheers. Oh, you'd like to do a cheers? Cheers with our spooky glasses here. I don't even know if oh. you can see. <laughs> what? I was about to sip from the mic. I went like that. <laughs> Imagine. We're dealing with a beautiful red blend made in oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> made in um, glizzy overload uh, I don't know a sweet red blend I haven't we actually haven't had wine in a long time for for the longest time wine used to be my go to and then I just stopped drinking it I don't know and now I'm back. I'm perusing the wines a bit. So there's that. Tastes really good right now. Mm -hmm. The brand we're drinking is Menage a Trois. Um, Dolce. Sweet red blend. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's, it's a cross between like Stella Rosa and her older sluttier sister. You know, it's like just a bit stronger, but it still has that sweet tang to it that we all love so dearly. Mm -hmm. And that's the beautiful, that's the best way I could describe it. No, that was good. Thank that you. Was good. Thank you. They should have that under their description. They should. That they should. I guess let's get the Russell Brand thing out of the way because it's just a quick update. As we said in our last episode, this is an ongoing story that's happening. So there's going to be a lot of developments over the coming weeks. And um, after the news broke about the allegations, of course, he ran to Russell Brand ran to his YouTube channel to put out another statement saying um, basically just saying that he is thanking his followers for questioning the information they have been presented with. He didn't really address any of the claims, but he did deny the allegations at hand. I don't think he went into specifics. Um, and he said, now get this, right? He said he had an extraordinary and distressing week. Mm. He had a bad week. Mm. Tough. That's tough. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. I'm an R wordist and I had everyone's picking on me. Like, come on. Get over yourself. Dumbass idiot. L. L. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Also, allegedly. Um, and truthfully, I believe it, but. But these are allegations, and so I don't want to get any letters in the mail. Mm. So, allegedly. So his thing right now is that he's accusing the UK government of trying to censor him. That's his whole thing. Because right. we didn't get into this last episode, but 
So when I was asking you, like, what do you know about Russell Brand? And we were talking about how he's a comedian. He's been in movies. Um, that that was like his big thing back in the day. But as of lately, like in recent years, he's turned into this like person who does yoga and he's very spiritual and mm. he's a like he's a far right person. And he he even had some covid denialism videos and so he's you, you just get the whole picture mm. there since the allegations broke youtube said bye bye monetization and they've demonetized his channel that's good that's good and also i guess he was on tour and that's been canceled or postponed but mm. probably canceled most likely and also amid these allegations he has been dropped by his agent but what's funny is that Apparently, um, his agent was told of these allegations with Alice, the teenager, years ago. Is that the child? Yes. Um, yeah. And he's been he told only, that when? He, he was told of those allegations years ago, but he oh. still stayed with him mm. as his agent. But he only fired him this week after being... Oh, he quote, fired him? I thought he dropped... Oh, wait. The no, agent the fired agent. Russell fired this week after quote being horribly misled mm. he said russell brand categorically and ve vehemently denied the allegation made in 2020 but we now believe we were horribly misled by him you think he's just trying to save face or or you think that maybe he didn't know it all i mean it could go either way. He could he could have known that these things were true and just now that it's becoming public, he's like, I can't be associated with you. Mm -hmm. Or backlash. Or he could just be like <laughs> a stupid person who heard of uh, these rumors and was like, Okay, like I believe you, buddy, and then stayed with him. Maybe he was like I wouldn't say you were horribly misled. I mean, like I don't know. Like it doesn't take a rocket scientist to like put two and two together. Like if some if I heard about these allegations years ago, like this guy did, I would have been like, mm, there's probably some truth to that. Mm. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what his deal is, but he's getting dropped by everyone, and rightfully so. And the good thing is that uh, an investigation has been opened in the UK, and so they're looking into his crimes, and I'm loving every second of it hope they catch him i hope they they get him he gets what he deserves mm -hmm. after this like danny masterson case i feel like there's a lot of hope you know like more celebrities are probably going to be getting exposed and they won't get away with the shit that they got away yeah. for with for years finally J finally just because of their power and fame mm -hmm. so something that i wanted to talk about um I have a bone to pick with the people of TikTok, okay? Because one too many times have I been led astray when somebody on TikTok is like, yo, you need to check out this movie. Mm. It is the best movie that I have ever seen. And I will put that on everything. I will put that on my mama. And I'm just like, oh my God, let me drop everything. Let me watch this movie. I feel like they, they do that a lot on TikTok. They just they do. glamorize everything. Everything, even if it's just like decent. They do. They'll just be like, this will change your life. <laughs> Go, yeah. don't walk, run. And That's it's just true. like literally just a decent, if not mediocre <laughs> product or whatever they're selling. Yeah, that's true. But I just, I don't, I want to know why. I want to know why you bitches do that <laughs> because mm -hmm. I'm telling you like multiple times that has happened where someone on TikTok will recommend a movie or a series or whatever and we watch it and I'm just incredibly disappointed and that happened recently like a couple days ago when we saw the movie I think it's called No One Can Save You on Hulu now don't get me wrong the idea no spoilers by the way the idea of a film having little to no dialogue excites me because I at heart I'm like a writer and I love film and in another life I was probably like a director of some sort because I love that shit I eat sleep breathe films and movies and well that's the same thing and tv shows 
I fucking love it. All right. So I am a harsh critic, but not that harsh. You know what I mean? Yeah. It just. I feel like I'm more harsh than you for the most part. Yeah. I like for me, I, I, I have some leniency and I'm like, okay, like I'll let that slide because blah, 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 whatever, whatever. So going back to what I was saying, the no dialogue, like the whole soundtrack, the score of the movie, that was great. I love the idea of it. It's a sci-fi movie about a girl whose like house gets like abducted, not abducted, like visited by aliens, basically. It's just like it could have gone so much better. It could have gone so many different ways. And yeah. the way that it went was so bad. Yeah, no, they, they dropped the ball there um, at some point. Um, I think it was towards the end of the movie because like up until the middle it was it was re- it was pretty good yeah in the beginning we were both like "Ooh, color me intrigued <laughs> <laughs> like it was yeah. it was good like we were interested and we wanted more and then as the, f- the film progressed i was like something's getting lost in translation here because yeah. it's not giving what it was supposed to give yeah. anyway that being said it wasn't horrible but i swear i saw like five people on my timeline they were like this is the best movie i've ever seen i don't care what movie comes out this year this is gonna be my number one and i was like hell yeah Mm -mm. that's a big claim let me watch it and then i see this shit and i'm like no words no words yeah I just needed to get that off my chest. Thank you for sticking with me. Y'all need to stop overhyping things on TikTok mm-hmm. because you just lose your credibility. And like, I want to trust you. I want to trust you so bad. Don't do me dirty like that ever again. Whenever I see those type of TikToks, I just assume they're all just bad or, you know. I have to start doing that. Because, yeah. There's no way every product or every movie, every TV show is the best one ever. I know, but I just get so excited. Yeah. It's like... It's it's a lot of movies that have been coming out have been, like, slow. And, you know, there hasn't been one that's, like, just steal your heart. It's very hard to come by. And so I'm like, every time someone says that, I'm like, I gotta run. I gotta see what it's about. Anyway. Yeah, but talking about that, I was trying to think what was the best movie we watched this year oh cool, good question even... oh, for some reason God. nothing else comes to mind but barbie like um like not even as like the top one just like when we've seen this year i can't think of another one. Oh, i could probably name a few well the first one that came to my mind was talk to me oh yeah yeah that was a great one yeah that one was good um did smile come out this year did John Wick mm, 4 come was... out this year? Bro, tell me why the fuck this year... Together. <laughs> why this year has gone by so Smile, fast, but it feels like... Not. like Definitely not. Well, let me finish my thought. Damn. Sorry. Tell me why this year has gone by so fast, but it feels like the longest year. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's weird. I, I understand that. It's weird. I feel that all the time. Smile came out... This year. 2022. We're in 23, babe. Oh. Last year. Um, but which the other John one? Wick, John Wick, dude. That was John this Duke. year for sure. That one I think was this year. Yeah, twenty twenty three. It's funny. <laughs> it's so funny every time I hear people like saying John fucking Wick. TikTok sounds in public. Like it's just it's funny, but at the same time it's I'm like, oh, what are we doing here? Like I I was in Marshalls the other day and then oh, I heard I heard someone go John Wick dupe and then I no 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 she didn't say that she didn't say that sorry she said Stanley dupe Stanley <laughs> I've never heard of that but you know that. the Stanley cup that everyone was was going crazy for like the tumbler cup that keeps your water cold and it looks like a coffee mug kind of but it has a handle. It's big. I where are you? Like they're so tired. on different yeah, TikTok fucking for you pages. Our timelines are <sighs> it's crazy. Anyways, worlds apart. The girls that know know. Um, but yeah, she was like, "Stanley yeah, Dupe." No <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's like period. <laughs> <laughs> I always like saying John Wick Dupe. Yeah, that's although funny. I don't get many opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's true. When just would like you when say we're talking that? about like <laughs> when like Equalizer three comes up or like who else? Uh, when does that come up? No, like when we're at the movies oh. and then like the or like when we're watching like YouTube or something, like the trailer will come out a little teaser. Uh huh. So all that being said, we recently watched the new season of AHS American Horror Story, um, Delicate. First impressions, don't hate it. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it. W- well, at least I thought Kim Kardashian's <laughs> character was gonna be like all cringy, but it's not. It wasn't. Yeah. So f- she's not bad. For those that don't know, there's a new season of American Horror Story. It's like their twelfth or thirteenth season. Um, Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian, isn't it? Um, Emma Roberts, the guy who plays Logan in Gilmore, Gilmore Girls. Girls. Yeah. That was such a beautiful, delightful surprise. I was giddy. I was like, "Oh my god, Logan, Team Logan." Um, <laughs> Are you really Team Logan? Mm, no, I don't know. I I, I toggle. Back and forth between the boys every se- every time I watch. It's like my third time watching Gilmore Girls. When I'm watching it when currently. When it's Dean's time, you're on Dean. And then when it's... <sighs> I don't know. Because... Yes. Because I feel like you're you're like a Jess. Team Jess. I, I Honestly, I think... I think... Are we doing this right now? I think because we are. I have I the time. M- like, well. I just... I feel so passionately about this. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're tearing up. I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm not. Um, no. no. Um, yeah, I, I like whenever she's going like from guy to guy, <laughs> it sounds funny. <laughs> um, I do feel like in that moment, like, oh, she should be with him. She should be with him. But the first time I watched it, I was like really hardcore team Dean. And I know that's so controversial. Hold on. Team Dean in the beginning, because as they get older, it's it's messy. And like he oh, yeah. is just he's just messy and he's like a little controlling and whatever it, it, they all have their flaws like with Jess I personally me I've never been the bad boy type I mean look at who I married I'm <laughs> just kidding I, no I'm kidding baby no really I'm bad <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm bad I swear <laughs> no really I like that just never caught my eyes cause like in the beginning when you first meet Jess he's super messy and he's like troublesome and problematic and he has anger issues and he's like you know what I mean it's yeah. like it's too much for me like <laughs> you know so in the beginning with Jess I'm like uh, you know but then as as he grows up I really love him for her like he's the one that was like why are you dropping out of Yale like you have so much talent like and she made him better and he like if they ended up together he would make her better and like they were kids when they met, so like of course they weren't perfect in the beginning, mm-hmm. but like they just you know, that I feel like they would have they would have been good for each other. And then fucking Rory, like you could have had it all with Logan, and I know he wasn't the greatest either, but like he had money and like <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I'm kidding. I I think you're from what I heard you're just a team Jess fan. Mm. What about you? Hmm. Yeah, I think Jess. Jess, yeah. Yeah. This is like very controversial. Is it? On the interwebs, it is. Like no but like you cannot towards you cannot be you cannot be Team Dean. Like everyone it's like an ongoing it's like an ongoing joke. Like I saw this girl post a TikTok the other day recently and she's like, Me me before watching Gilmore Girls for the umteen umpteenth time with my boyfriend, um, Okay, we're going to set some ground rules, okay? I don't remember you can be, Dean being that bad, though. Hold on. Sorry, sorry. You can be Team Logan. You can be Team Jess. You can even be Team Kirk. But you, not can, Kirk. But you cannot and will not be Team Dean. I know. There's, like, such Dean slander. And honestly, I don't know. I, I he, don't remember I think him being that bad, I think though. he's... I don't know. He's just like the I mean, golden retriever type. I, I haven't. I know. I haven't seen it in a while. He's. I don't know. I need to do like a whole deep dive on him or something. This next time Maybe, I watch, yeah. I need to take notes. I need to truly rediscover. I need to like find out. Because yeah, like they team. all had their flaws, but I don't remember him being. 
I feel like he wasn't, Crazy. but like the whole internet hates him, so like they're kind of gaslighting me into thinking like he was completely horrible. But I, I, I don't remember what I don't exactly think... he did. You know, he was, he, he was. was like jealous, yeah, but like sure, there but were like, teens, like they were, exactly. they were immature. You know what I mean? Like, and then I'm guessing because it got messy because he ended up getting married and whatnot. Yeah, like obviously That's that was really bad. That was bad. Yeah. That was really bad. But like they made it seem also like. Like, you wanted to cheer for them during all that, I feel. Yeah, like, yeah. It know? felt like... It felt like, like it was uh, the right thing to do. Yeah. Else, like, Which it wasn't. Like, you know, he... Yeah. It's just so messy. Yeah. I can't. So, Team Jess? So, Team Jess, I think, at the end of the day. Anyways, we went on such okay. a tangent. Sorry. We were talking about American Horror Story, bro. Were we? Yes. Oh, yeah, because of, cause of <laughs> Logan, yeah. Back to the matter at hand, Okay. AHS. <laughs> really quick. Um, I mean, really, it's really just that. It wasn't, it, it was good. I mean, it's promising. There's only one episode out now. It's on Hulu. It comes out like every week. So the story is about um, a, the main character, Emma Roberts. Um, I forget her name. It's like Katie or something. Well, she's trying to get pregnant with her husband via IVF. And so she goes into the clinic to get the procedure done. Um, and she has, she's famous, so she's an actress in the story, and she feels like she's being watched and being stalked by several people, and so she's just scared about this pregnancy. She has a fear that the baby will be a spider in her belly when she gives birth, and it's just a lot of shady shit. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's so funny because I saw someone say, um, why are the intros to AHS scarier than the season? <laughs> like that shit is so scary. I, I always like find myself like skipping immediately or like turning the sound off or yeah, just looking away. They're normally pretty creepy. They're so creepy. Like, oh, I don't know what they put in them. They do a really good job. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it. But speaking of series and shows the writer strike is over apparently oh is it it is yeah i don't have the details on that i'm sorry i, I didn't look that up i didn't but, even hear about that yeah they're coming to an agreement they haven't like s announced what exactly like the set terms mm -hmm. but they've come to an agreement and they're probably going to release that and so the strike is over after i think i think i read Hopefully like in favor oh. of the writers yes after 146 days 146 of striking dang so well deserved but amid that news um it came out that well first of all it came out that um they're gonna put back into production the second season of the last of us 2 which is amazing they said oh, as soon yeah. as the strike is over they're gonna start filming it again that's true I so forgot yay. About it, i know right so cool. I thought we were going to have to wait a long time. We're probably still going to get yeah, it in like still... a, like two years, maybe. Mm -hmm. But that's still cool. And then um, they announced that they are thinking about rebooting The Office. Mixed feelings about that one. A lot of people have mixed feelings about it. I'm one of them, as are you. <laughs> I saw people saying like... <laughs> Can you guys go on strike again or like <laughs> <laughs> or like um what else? Just like send it back. We don't want it. If they do, like hopefully it's all the same cast because I guarantee you if it's not, not a lot of people are going to watch it. Yeah, I I feel like um I heard that the same writers, the same writers of the show are going to be on it. So it'll probably Toby because he was one of the writers. Oh. It's still going to have like the same comedy, I hope. But but that's what I'm also curious about, too. It's like the office is famous for it's like cringy, but like inappropriate comedy yeah. because like back in the day, you know, that's like you true. they couldn't get away with a lot of the stuff that they did now that yeah. they did back then. So but that's what the humor was yeah. in the show. And it's it's funny. But I don't think they could get away with that in this day and age and so i'm like how are how is that like dynamic mm. gonna be if they reboot it and the office is one of our 
one of our top shows. We've rewatched it several times. It's probably my favorite like comedy show. Yeah, like sitcom. Sitcom, yeah. Yeah. So it's mixed feelings, definitely. Because we love it, it, but and they ended it so well, like they should just let it be. Yeah. So I wanted to end the show with something fun because the last two episodes we were talking about like heavy stuff and I didn't like it you know like I love to report on it it's just it's not it's not my cup of tea going back to like the twilight episode that we did the twilight trivia I laughed so hard in that freaking episode and so I wanted it was super fun and so I wanted to kind of replicate that in a sense with some celebrity impressions because look i freaking love doing impressions oh me too we both love doing it it's one of my favorite things i just love doing impressions i love doing accents we talk a lot in accents in our Mm. day-to-day life we all also do a lot of impressions of our family members do we yeah our nieces and nephews oh yeah, yeah 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 all the time yeah so i thought that would be funny um and there's there's a f- like a few that you do that i love there's a few that i do mm-hmm. and so i want to start would you like to do one i i don't want to put you on the spot but i have you up for the first yeah, one I don't- oh really yeah which one is it chris tucker and jackie chan Ooh. in rush hour you do a great chris tucker and jackie Dude. chan <laughs> i live for it uh you could do it. You could do it. I can you do, could it, do it. But I think I'm going to need to w- watch a video first. I a mean, video? I know. Babe, just, you would do it all the like, time. I know, I know. But it, no. it's because I told you. I told you that I have allergies right now. So my voice is a little it's a little different right now. And also, I haven't heard it in a while. All right. So this is... um, What scene is it? Do you remember what, what's happening can you set no, the... No, I don't. I oh. wish I could. I feel like they're... I mean, they're obviously getting separated because they're over here calling out to each other. And I don't know how far I'm supposed to put my mic back for this because they're, cause they're basically screaming. Pretty far. Pretty far? Yeah. All right. Like right Yeah. <laughs> Lee! Carter! Lee! <laughs> Carter! Yeah. That was good. Yeah. I feel like I'm watching the movie. Uh, yeah. It wasn't my best, not gonna lie, but... It's okay. It's okay. Oh, yeah. There it is. Listen, I haven't, I haven't warmed up to a few of these either, so... We're going in raw. I haven't done this next one. I do... I, I pride myself. I do a mean Jennifer Coolidge... Oh, impersonation yeah, yeah. yeah you do haven't done it in a long Pretty time good. so i may be a little rusty but it's it's like uh it kind of goes like this you gotta purse your lips a bit it's like oh god <laughs> <laughs> no that's good you look like the fourth of july you make me want a hot dog real bad that's pretty good no that wasn't my best okay. but it's like you gotta <laughs> let me give you let me give you some pointers you gotta like squint the eyes a little bit not that she really does it but i don't know it just helps me get into character and you gotta purse the lips you can't see but i was doing it okay but she has big lips and she's like oh god you look like the fourth of july makes me want a hot dog real bad (laughs) that was good that That was was good good. that was good (laughs) real bad yeah yeah I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> can you give me a Scooby Doo laugh? I feel like you do it really well. Fuck. I can only really. I feel like I've only really done it really good when we're like going back and forth on it. Okay. So I think you're gonna have to start me off. Okay. So Scooby Doo has this iconic laugh. Iconic. I laugh. mean, if you don't know, I don't know what to tell you. But. <clears throat> Oof. This could be either really good or really bad. Yeah. Ooh. I'm not scary, right? <laughs> it's it's never been my forte, but we'll see. Ma- maybe we'll cut it. If, if... <laughs> 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 
really bad. Really bad. I told you. Let me hear it again. No! <laughs> your turn. Fuck. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I just felt like I was going to butcher that. All right, all right. Game face. <laughs> Damn. I fucked it up right there. <laughs> Hey, it was really, it was much better than mine. Let me, let me try. Let me try again. Let me try. Oh, it's really it's, scary. Yeah. It's like a hot <laughs> seat. That was pretty good. That was mm. pretty good. I mean, it was a lot better than mine. I don't think so. No? Mm, I don't know. I think so. Okay. Because I, I even like choked up. <clears throat> okay. We'll put, we'll put Scooby-Doo to rest. Another one? <laughs> no. Yeah. Put it, <laughs> do it. Put it <laughs> Cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> Cut it oh, out. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, another one that we do. <laughs> I've done this for a long time. And you know this. Merida from Brave. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> You're so good at it's this It's been one. a long time since I've heard it. So I don't know. But, you know, some things just stick with you. And so I'm hoping this I feel is like you, one you, of them. You got this one in the bag. <sighs> if you had the chance to change your fate... Would you? There it is. Yep. That was pretty good. I feel like that's one you can always just pull out. Thank you. Mm-hmm. We'll leave it at that. Okay, we're both going to take a swing at this one. This one okay. is going back to Gilmore Girls. Babette. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll, I'll start. Uh, <sighs> Thank you. Good. That was good. <laughs> <clears throat> Rory, sugar. <laughs> Rory, sugar. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maury, the cat cinnamon got out. <laughs> it's like super <laughs> raspy and just always yelling. Yeah. Rory, sugar. <laughs> this one kind of like is the same vibe i feel in a sense the spongebob spinal cord lady oh i can't do that one i have been doing this one for years and this one is very near and dear to my heart spongebob your favorite my favorite i reference it every day people say that they think about the well men say that they think about the roman empire every day spongebob is my roman empire Okay, I don't think you understand. So, setting the tone, this is the episode where uh, SpongeBob and Patrick are selling chocolates. They go door to door, and then they encounter um, a daughter named Mary, but she's old, and she brings out her her <laughs> ancient ass spinal cord mother who's in a wheelchair. Hilarious! So they knock on her door, and they're like, "Is your mother home?" And then <laughs> she's like. I don't know what she says, <laughs> but she's basically like, she calls her mom over. They're selling chocolate. And then the mom's like, what? What are they selling? Chocolate. What? They're selling chocolate. I can't hear you. Damn. They're selling chocolate. Oh, chocolate. Sweet, sweet chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. I always hated it. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> Thank you. And scene. Can I get your best Kim Kardashian? Oh, um, Michaela. Michaela. Yeah, I was like, I don't do a Kim Kardashian impression. Oh no, no, no. Yeah. Um. Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Here's another one that's near and dear to my heart. We'll see how it comes out. This is Winifred Sanderson from Hocus Pocus. That's you. That's all you right there. Yes. So this is when um, they need to find the book and so on and so forth. And it's it's, it's like middle of the movie, whatever. We must find the book. Brew the potion and suck the souls out of the children of Salem before sunrise. Otherwise, as curtains, we evaporate. We cease to exist. Dost thou comprehend? 
That's good. That's good. <laughs> I could literally see, like, I can picture the the scene right there. Yeah, that was great. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You so do a lot was... of good ones. Thank you. Would it be fun to see you like do a voice over? Oh yeah. Or like a vo- do some voice voice, voice yeah. work. Yeah, voice acting. I considered that as a profession. I just don't know where to, you know, like how do yeah, you get your foot you in the door? I don't. It's I don't know. Uh, that's a conversation for a different day, though. Different yeah, episode. but that's that's it. That is our episode. <clears throat> so <laughs> if you made it this far, thank you, audio listeners. Thank you for listening as well. We appreciate you. We see yes, you. Yes, thank you. We see you. Um, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see us, but we're we're giving you the girly pop hands. We're like, love you. Um. So, yeah, we will see you next week. Bye.